Well, in December 2023, CNBC TV 18 had reported that certain lenders have been asked by RBI to curtail the credit deposit ratio to around 75% levels. Now, RBI highlighted this as a caution to the banks given the fact that high credit deposit ratio may put financial system liquidity at risk. It is imperative that banks have prudent liquidity management measures and credit growth should not outpace deposit growth by miles. Banks have been witnessing a 300 to 400 basis point gap between deposit growth and credit growth. So it has been observed for the last few months that deposit growth has been on a declining growth rate trend. It is a kind of cautioning for the bank's management that going forward this may create structural issues with regard to liquidity management as well. If it goes unattended, it can lead to a potential structural liquidity management issue in the system as well. RBI has said banks with a wide branch network are expected to come out with innovative products and services to mobilize deposits. Huge bulk deposits have always been a lazy banker's job. RBI governor has said that share of CASA in the overall deposit, which was about 43% a year ago, has come down to about now 39%. Therefore, banks need to focus on these retail deposits as well and not just some bulk deposits for growth. Let's take a look at the impact of CNBC TV18 story. From Q3 of FI24 to Q1 of FI25, now CD ratio, that is credit deposit ratio in the banking segment, has uh, declined from 82.3% to 81.6%. This number excludes AU Small Finance Bank because it saw a merger that has happened. Now, out of 39 lenders, 24 of them have seen a decline in their credit deposit ratio. So, as I said earlier, we are not considering AU Small Finance Bank because FinCare Small Finance Bank got merged with AU Small Finance Bank in Q1 FI25. The highest credit deposit ratio decline over the last two quarters has been for Jana Small Finance Bank, IDFC Bank, Ikuta Small Finance Bank, Suryodha Small Finance Bank, SDFC Bank, Utka Small Finance Bank, as well as Bandhan Bank. Now, CD ratio has improved over the last few quarters for banks like Capital Small Finance Bank, Punjab and Sindh Bank, State Bank of India, as well as Yuko Bank. Lowest CD ratio in the banking sector that is below 71% we have seen for Central Bank of India, Punjab National Bank, IDBI Bank, Yuko Bank as well as Punjab and Sindh Bank. Uh, if you take a look at the highest credit deposit ratio in the banking sector which is more than 90% is for banks like Suryodha Small Finance Bank, HDFC Bank and Utka Small Finance Bank at 103.5%, Jana Small Finance Bank, IDFC First Bank, Bandhan Bank, ESAF, Equitas, Ujjivan, as well as Axis Bank. In terms of outlook ahead, there is still a huge headroom for declining credit deposit ratio of many lenders to RBI's comfortable level. This can further create pressure on net interest margin due to high interest rate on the deposit side that we are witnessing in the system. Lending opportunities on higher yield products like unsecured loans is declining. Now, with RBI cautioning on unsecured loans, also the fact that it will impact the yields of the banks. Decline in CD ratio may lead to efficiency in the system, like focus on retail deposits than bulk deposits for growth as well. Bankers do say that if the situation doesn't improve in the next six months, it will start impacting the net interest margin. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.